Okay, hi. So I'm going to explain basically two-step process to get this thing set up and working well. The first is the tilt. So with a target set, set a target at 44, doesn't matter what it is, get it to run full speed and look and see that it's going both as fast. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if I just adjust the tilt a tiny bit, it'll speed up. And if I go back the other way, it'll slow down. And it is very sensitive. So I use these stickers and put, you know, three or four or five of them underneath the front of the base and make sure that you put it back in the same place on your table every time. And you want to run about this fast. If it's inconsistent, put another sticker to slow it down, it'll make a big difference. Now, I've got the slider near the middle. Maybe it's a bit on the slow side. I'm gonna go to 44. Should have scooped a bit more. You wanna to try to scoop it so that it gets right to about 40 or 41. So three grains under. And then it starts ramping down about a grain and a half before the target. So see how it's, it takes a long time right now, but it's no way it's going to overshoot. If I take some out, try it again. It should ramp down so early and be going so slowly that it almost will never overshoot unless the kernels clump up, but it's not a, a flow issue causing it to overshoot. See, it's 0.1 under and it's like going at its almost slowest speed trying to get the last bit. So you can do this a few times. If you're okay with the time that it takes, then you're done. It won't overshoot. If it's really hard for you to take one kernel out and you'd rather wait an extra couple of seconds to make sure that you don't have to, then you can leave it like that. Or push the slider a little bit that way, make it go a little faster. it's going to be different every time. Now the slider is not changing the speed, it's changing the ramp down rate. So it only affects how quickly it curves down, which affects how the powder will flow at the last stage. Yeah, see how it got up to 44 a lot more snappy that time. And as soon as it overshoots beyond 0 0.04, 0 0.06, it probably means the slider is too high and you want to move it back a bit. So even this is probably a little on the slow side. I'll push it a bit more. If your goal is to minimize overshoots, this is the way to do it. If your goal is to maximize efficiency, then you'd probably push the slider a bit more. Just do it in small amounts at a time. And it takes five or six to get a good feel of if you've made an improvement or not. Yeah, that's pretty efficient there. So generally when I do 50 or so, you know, I'll take the first 10, 15 even, just fine tuning. You kind of get a feel, okay, that's a little too fast or a little too slow. And then once you settle into a groove, you can get the next 50 or 100 rounds done pretty quickly.